I have tried this technique so many times with no success, but I finally found a product that works. And let me tell you, it's pure magic. But before I show you what it does, let me start with a simple neurographic drawing because I feel it will showcase this product beautifully. First, I grab a black marker and start drawing random lines across my page. I'm using heavy watercolor paper as I want to use watercolor pencils to color it in. I let my hand doodle across the page without thinking, until I feel like I'm done and there are no more lines to draw. Then comes the most relaxing part for me, rounding the corners. This is very meditative as it removes any harsh edges from the inner and outer lines. If you want to learn about this process, stay tuned until the end of this video as I explain the steps to my own version of neurographic art. I found a simple way to interpret neuro art in a form of meditative relaxation, which is different from the in-depth form called neurographica. This has really helped me feel more at peace, especially when I'm drawing. I take my drawing one step further as I want to create even more markings inside. I start by drawing little circular shapes inside some of the larger designs to give them texture. I still make sure that all the inner corners are rounded so there's no sharp edges. To enhance the roundness of the design, I also draw some circles as they make me feel whole. Circles are very powerful as well as they feel so wholesome and good. I draw shapes of different sizes both inside other shapes and along the lines as it creates movement. I think the drawing reminds me of algae and the circles look like bubbles under the sea, which as you know is one of my favorite places to be. I can picture myself snorkeling under the warm waters through the beautiful coral reef. Once I'm done doodling, I start coloring inside the shapes using watercolor pencils. I draw a line of color around the inner edges of the shape and then using a wet brush, I blend the color inward to fill in the space. It is important to use colors that you resonate with. It can be any color and those might change depending on the drawing and your mood. Today I'm really drawn towards purple, blue and magenta as they not only make me feel good but they go so well together. You can use any watercolor pencil or marker for this, even regular watercolors. The brand I'm using is Faber-Castell, as it's the one I own, but any will work. I leave the bubbly circles until the end, as I want them to be brighter, as if the bubbles were illuminated. I use yellow and orange to color them in. However, they were not bright enough, and you will soon see how that little bottle turned them into pure golden magic. Once I'm done the coloring, I dry the background well as I need to dry it for the next step. Now I know you've been waiting for the magic. Well, I take this little bottle and using a small paintbrush start adding it to some areas of my drawing. The solution inside is white and watery, almost like watercolor, but it's not watercolor at all. It is PBO's gilding paste. Not sure why they call it paste as it's super watery, but you will soon see what it does. I take an even smaller brush and apply the liquid carefully inside the smaller bubbles. I've been looking for a product like this to add golden touches to my artwork, and honestly, this was perfect. The only drawback is that you have to let it dry for 15 to 20 minutes, which is not great for my patience. However, the best part is that it remains tacky and that's how you can apply the gold. There are two ways of doing this. The first one is by adding gilding gold flakes with a paintbrush. They stick to the tacky parts perfectly and it looks beautiful. But it's a little bit messy and the flakes go everywhere. That's why I prefer adding the gold using these golden sheets. They remind me of those foil sheets we use for crafting and I will test those as well as I imagine they are the same. The foil is from the same brand and it sticks to the tacky part of the paste perfectly and it creates beautiful gold highlights. I realize that I want more golden areas so I add more gilding paste over certain shapes because I just love the gold so much. And while it's drying I take the black marker and fix some of the edges around the gold. 
this is a great way to fix any mistakes you might have made with the gold foil on the original lines. Once you're done, you can reuse the same gold foil sheet over the tacky paste and add more gold to the design. I just love how this turns out. And I fix the edges again with black as well, and even splatter with gold ink for some added touches. I cut it in half and create two bookmarks to give away as gifts. The golden circles add such beauty to the neural lines, and it is so meditative to make them. You can see my own version of neurographic art in this video right here and how much it helped me relax and create.